What world's best indoor skydiving athletes say about a Rhodium R4 Pro Tunnel? So, how do you find this tunnel? Me personally, I love this tunnel. It's probably my favorite that I've flown in, um, as far as the 14-footers. The air quality is amazing. It's extremely smooth. The viewing area is among the best, I would say, probably the best for these competition tunnels. Um, it's extremely tall, so there's lots of flying area. Uh, and I could go on and on and on. It's, it's probably one of the best tunnels in the world right now. I love it. Oh, I love it. It is so cool. I mean, the visuals are incredible. Like uh, being able to fly up this high and still seeing everything. The wind feels pretty clear. I love the fact that it's actually, you can really cool it down so much because I like flying in the cold air, it's just stronger. Uh, so yeah, I think it's amazing. I think it's, uh, it's insane. I think the design, incredible. I, lo I love the actual design of the space around it, but the actual tunnel, the, uh, the air is super clean. Um, yeah, nice. Honestly, uh, I didn't expect that it's going to be that good. I, I love it. Actually, I think it's the best like 14 feet like tunnel I ever tried in my life. I really, no, no, honestly, I, I didn't expect that, that good because I flow in, in other ones. I say, okay, but that one is incredible, incredible. Like super fast, smooth, the design is beautiful. So I wish to have one at home for sure. Oh, I love it. This is the fastest tunnel I've ever been to, 100%. It's super smooth too. We didn't have to have any time to adjust to it. We just went straight to training. Um, yeah, and it diffuses really high too. The pressure is really constant. That's perfect for any sort of speed category. Um, yeah, I love it. This tunnel, uh, Go Air One Macau, is by far one of the nicest tunnel I've flown in. It's so futuristic and modern and it's so tall. I've never seen glass like that high before. So I think for me to have this as a competition tunnel and to see the teams really use the full range, it's, a, it's amazing to see. It's really pushing the sport. It's a very nice tunnel. I did, honestly, I didn't expect. Uh, it's a uh, nice air, nice flow, closer to the door. You don't feel any any drop. That is something pretty common in the, in the other tunnel. Uh, no problem at all. Uh, the only thing that's different, uh, I think the wind is strong. I love the ability to uh, control the temperature. It's a really good tunnel. Uh, we have space and the wind is really good. So uh, I like the tunnel. The lights are good, the wind is good. Can you use the safety net underneath it? I noticed that, it moves a little bit, which in my opinion is actually probably one of the best designs there is for a net because I was talking to uh, Tom's Ivans, the head instructor here, and he said that they've never replaced one wire in three years. So I don't think any other tunnel can say that, you know. So it's definitely a thing with maintenance that's been perfected at this tunnel. I was surprised, I was like, what? I didn't expect that uh, this, this exists, and I think it's a great idea, definitely. Like, you can, I mean, it feels softer, so that's the most important, and yeah, I mean, I like it, I like the idea. What do you think could be added or should be added, from your opinion, to this existing tunnel? What could be improved, if at all? So for me, from my, so, uh, my discipline is mainly formation skydiving. From my point of view, I think it's incredible. Um, so it, from the launches in, uh, the door is ace, the air is clean. I, I, I'm very happy as it is right now.